everyone I am starting to film outside and I am loving it but I'm not sure if you can see me clearly today our tutorial is how to use the big uh, saucer beads that I have and um, I wanted to show it to you when it's being worn like this it's just strung on a really thin pleather cord and a matching um, little button earrings so uh, let me show you how I did this I made quite a few because I am going to be at the uh, at a bazaar it's called not not as in K-N-O-T not too shabby bazaar sponsored by the owner Michelle and we're gonna be there so I made uh, a few of these to sell at the bazaar and let's see how how we do on that bazaar we will be sharing that with you as well so stay tuned for that so let's begin so I'm back it's much cooler now <laughs> I did the uh, intro to this video this morning when it was uh, sun is blasting um, but as you can see I've been busy last night I made 10 actually I made 11 of these um, to sell at the bazaar that I'm going to be joining uh, this coming Saturday they are all made from the saucer beads so um, we have a new saucer shape um, it's the same button saucer family uh, but this new ones are bigger much bigger they are uh, two inches across and um, about a quarter inch uh, in height so this is massive it's humongous and sometimes it's hard you, you it's hard to do a design on them but I have found the perfect design so each one of these are different now this one um, no, this is the front where you see like a little V. It's, it's nice worn, worn like that as opposed to this one. But you can actually, this is reversible. So this one I made with some round paper beads. And this is the polymer, polymer clay. So the polymer clay is made by... Eriko, she's a polymer artist that I met at the Pasadena Bead and Design Show. So she has lovely, lovely stuff, and I bought a few of her pieces, but I don't have time to do all of them yet. So this one I made with purely paper beads. So this is the right side when you see that V shape. That gives it uh, a nice design I mean it's nice when once you're wearing it because of this thing here and that one this one I incorporated some crystals to it love that color um, this is another one with a polymer clay I just love it and it's a, a totally different design in the back. You can also wear it like this if you want. Doesn't really matter. And this one, <clears throat> I uh, put some, this is Morano glass. These are just beads that I already have. I just want to show you so you can appreciate the beauty of these saucers. Now this I did differently. I put a knot in between the beads. It's also nice that way and this one I have some this coin shaped gemstones to coordinate with the color of the saucer the saucers are just so awesome 
and this ones also this is um, African bead so you can basically just incorporate anything to it and this one has uh, all paper beads and this one another one with the African bead so I am going to teach you how to do this so let me go over the materials with you I love working outside at this time the birds are just all over the place can you hear them I love them I love the birds so anyway the materials are you need uh, some kind of a, uh, a leather this one is called uh, pleather pleather one millimeter uh, what I was trying to say is you need some kind of a stringing material okay so in my case it's pleather and uh, also you need beads you need the saucer I'm thinking of making a man's uh, necklace although any of the ones that I made can be for a guy but uh, I just found this in my stash uh, this is from Michael's or Joanne's I think this is what they call like a lava bead see it has like little holes in them I think they are so masculine so perfect for guys and then the round paper beads right there okay so let's get started you need about 38 inches of this so I'm just gonna do a wingspan like so and add a little extra <laughs> since I don't have my measuring tape I'm always forgetting something you know and you cut it you can make these really fast really fast if you have all your ducks line up shall we say or beads line up <laughs> except they're not lined up right now so anyway I don't have to do all that because I just need a few okay so this is what you do you you will determine the center of these uh, of the string so fold it in half okay and then you will take this and put it through the hole of your bead so you decide which one you want to show or one where you want to have the V that's where you will put this in birds are especially talkative today and then bring it down and I think you call this like a lark's knot or something and then you put this one through here and then pull it like so okay now it's like this now the next step and this is kind of the tricky one you will take the end of the this string on the right on the yeah on the right and put it let's loosen that a little bit put it right there in the middle you can see that right pull it pull it and then 
I will put it through here and then gently pull it down and now there is this knot that looks like that okay we'll do the same thing to the other side don't do it too tight leave it a little wiggle room okay otherwise it'll be hard so again take the end of the string that's on the left and then put it right here in the middle same as the other one pull it and then I love the pleather cord but if you cannot find the pleather cord at the at Michael's or Joanne's or Hobby Lobby use like a hemp cord or or uh, what do you call that a linen cord anything really as long as it will fit into the hole of your saucer so if you want to make a saucer with a big hole then you can fit a bigger leather cord so there so now you have your finish you just need to put in the beads to accent to accent or accentuate your saucer uh, so the one millimeter cord fits through most of my beads anyway. This is the seven millimeter paper beads. So keep in mind you want to pick out a bead that's not too fat. Otherwise they would be like, you know, uh, they would be, uh, what you call this? It will not lay flat is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and I'm thinking, so normally I would just put in like three beads on there, okay? Uh, not fitting in. Okay, so let's do this. And then we add our lava beads. I'm not even sure if this is really called a lava bead it's not going in okay there it's looking nice oh one more paper bead the other side a Lava bead and a paper bead. So there you go. You can leave it like that, you don't have to tie a knot, but I like to tie a knot just so it doesn't move around. But if you want, to make it move around that's fine too you can actually fill the whole strand with beads if you want you know the tiny paper beads will be great for this as well so it's just I'm just going to tie like a simple overhand knot Okay, I'm very distracted with this one little bird that's like <laughs> sitting in front of me.
not in front of me to my side. So you just do this. Mm. Okay. Do the other one. And then you're done. And the nice thing about this, which also adds to the to the design is that you uh, you don't need a clasp for this. You just tie it. And that's it. So some of this I'm gonna try and put it on my Etsy shop. Uh, obviously the ones with the polymer clay is a little more expensive but normally I'm planning on just selling them for ten dollars okay so then all you have to do is put it around your neck you can wear it as a choker you can wear it long over a black t-shirt or something and there you have it so I hope you like this tutorial today till next time thanks for watching